Forgot to bring water, but half moon bay got water. San Francisco, and as I was there watching people catching a whole bunch of crabs, I was kind of annoying. <laughs> but I had to do a, an engagement uh, photography session. So today is Thursday, and out, so I'll give it a shot. Grab my paddle. Hopefully, catch some good fish too. And yeah. Been waiting all year or all season for this because last year was pretty rough to the point where I didn't really get too much chances to come out here and catch dungeons or even rock crab. And still, my favorite is rock crab. So, I'm gonna try to see if I could get some rock crabs. So, sweeter meat to me is a better tasting meat. And Hopefully get more rock crab than Benjamin's, even though Benjamin's is 10. But my buddies and them all came out open air day and they all did great. So we'll see how I do. So it seems like somebody's having a motor issue over there up in front of me and they're not moving. They took up the motor cap so they're gonna fix it. That sucks. GoPro, stop recording. So crazy, the bottom of the front of the boat is not even touching water. It's like at that angle. That's crazy. The back could be touching water. Or water could be going in from the back. That thing's smooth though. I think it's not even at an angle, just like very little. I think custard water great. I wonder if that's how Adrian's uh, boat is also, where it just glides rather than some boats where they. They make it kind of weird. Because you can see more when it's going flat. Because some boats, when they do this, they can't even see us out here. Not much traffic at all today. A few boats gone out. I don't see any kayakers. Oh no, there's one kayaker. Saw a little bit past the green buoy. Guess it's dropping deep. A lot of rocks over there. It's a lot of rocks where he's at, so might get a lot of rock crab. Try to find some sand. So sandy patches for some dungeness. I don't want to throw by the mouth either. I might go a little bit, a little bit east of the green can. Maybe drop one closer to the red. And then, I don't know, bring that back around. Woohoo! They know me. I love my. Curly tail grub, excellent. And it's great every time. And I put a, a carabiner on the Hobie kayak flag for when you're towing or transporting. But it does great for a flag too, for all the kayaks so boats can see you. Plus, it's on the carabiner, so just in between your line and your rod. So you're not really cooked into anything too crazy. And it works, it does the job. Usually I use Velcro and stick it to the top, but the carabiner is easier. Ooh, porpoise! Little porpoise! The sea lion eating some kind of fish, slapping the crap out of some fish. 
So they see all those seagulls over there eating all those scraps. Pretty good morning. It's actually kind of nice, like I said last year, with all those traps. People can't leave it overnight. So if you're the early bird or you just show up today, it's not a lot of birdies. Very few. A couple by the green, one or two by the red buoy, and the, I think I see one or two over here. Other than that, the rest is all open. Where the years before that, there'll be buoys everywhere. Because I think you can leave it up to like nine days or whatever. And people just drive the boat, and kayak out, grab the uh, crab, dress more bait, and leave it. And you come over, it's like, dude, there's so much buoys, so many buoys. But today, it was good. Very little, very little buoy and very little uh, boat. All right, so I'm in 50 feet of water. And I'm gonna drop one here. I'm not too far, but because I want to triangulate and zigzag around while fishing. And it looks like it might be good. I mean, it's all sand on the bottom. So, give it a shot. And I use this to lock my pots. <laughs> give it a shot. Uh, see how it goes. Okay, so what I use them for bait is Jack Smell. Because I caught some of uh, Santa Cruz last time and they're gonna be my bait. And then I remember how to do this? Oh, come on. I'm pretty getting stuck. Okay. So, I got Jack Smell as my bait. Because I caught a whole bunch last time of Santa Cruz. Cut some because I figure I'm going to be crabbing pretty soon. When I do go crabbing, I have some fresh bait, or good bait, very oily fish, so they'll do good. I was going to buy some chicken, but, yeah, slowly wait for it to hit the bottom. Okay, it's on bottom now. Anywhere, and then take the carabiner, stick it to the other side. Okay, let's get to go. Uh, let me, yeah, and then mark it. Waypoint. Mark one on my phone also, just in case. Just in case. Woo. Just in case, like the GPS dies or something. Current location anchor one. So, first anchor. Trying to find another spot. So I'm dropping this one at 63 feet. I'm trying to see if they're in deeper or shallower. I usually go pretty close to the beach too, but because I mean, you're talking about snare fishermen are also catching them on the beach, so. Snare fishermen are catching them too. So the snare fishermen are catching them on the beach. 
should be able to catch them right by the beach. But we'll see if this produces good or if I have to go closer to the beach. But it's crazy because like there's almost no one out here. It looks like it's just all for myself. Usually you'll see more kayakers and boaters, but maybe because it's a Thursday. I don't know. But there goes my 16 ounce weight and my curly tail grab. And then drop it down low and I'll let it do its magic while I go and play around. So usually I'll just take both uh, rock crab and dungeness all in one bag and later on it becomes a big old mess, uh, a headache to a point where you got to pour all the crabs out just to really make sure what you got and if they're in the correct uh, amount because you don't want to go over on dungeness but yet you don't want to dump everything out to go through your, to dump the rock crab just so you could go through your dungeness count. So my thing now is to carry two different bags and one bag strictly for rockfish and another bag just for dungeness so that way it's easy for you to count and if you do catch a bigger dungeness you don't have to dig through the rock crowd to get to the dungeness to sort out the biggest one and throw back the smaller ones so eh, just a little easier way to control my uh, crabbing
I'm the big guy. All the smokes. It's not producing amazing, but that's still giving me crap though. So I might just drop it back down. Oh, this feels good. This feels actually really good. It's heavy, unless it's just jellyfish and something else in there. I caught a fish earlier, which was weird. I had to throw it back because it wasn't hooked. Oh, that feels heavy though. Oh. Wow. Okay. That is good. That's a lot of crabs. So this is what I mean by sorting them out and if I had all my crabs all in one bag it would have been annoying because I would have to dump every single crab out. Because you know that's going to be a nasty mixture of both frog crab and dungeness where in the red bag it's nothing but dungeness and I know I already had 10 so I had to the new one was bigger I knew that I have some that are barely legal so I'm trying to search for the smaller one and dump it out so I could keep the bigger one so that way I still stay within the limit of my 10 dungeness but at least now I only have to dump out 10 crabs versus with all the raw crabs. So it's a little easier for me. Uh, maybe I might need a, something a little easier, bigger bag or, but for right now, this is working pretty well.
So once you found out, okay, you got all the bigger crab, all the crabs that you want, and you got that small one son out. So the rest is all keeper in. Now I just dumped them all back in the bag and now uh, ready to hit back in and uh, pull in the last pot just to uh, throw it back in the kayak and uh, head in and call it a day. with my limit of 10 crabs man that bag is pretty packed pretty full uh pretty tight uh it'll be interesting if i do all seven inch crabs so so i met these two guys earlier uh they came towards me asking me if i did good i told them i did pretty good and i uh, kind of told them where to go to hopefully catch some fit some crabs because they didn't get much luck it's it was a pretty tough day today uh to try to find the crabs and um yeah uh two pretty cool guys uh and uh one of the guy actually uh watches my video or seen my video and uh i was telling her oh yeah you probably seen me from the national news but uh yeah two who cool guys so hopefully they'll come out of here again and fish with them lapu 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 from nck radio over the radio and uh asking for help see if there's any nck guys and i'm like yeah i'm out here um he didn't get anything much. Uh, he's on the boat, and I'm trying to guide him to a little better spot that might have some, or at least I caught some. So I already got my limit. Dungy in the back and rockfish right here in the front, and hopefully uh, they limit out. Um, like all kayakers, all fishermen, you want to help each other out. If somebody's not catching anything, try to guide them to a place where they could catch something. I mean, don't give away all your secrets, but help each other out because sometimes you are out here and you do need help, and people help you out, so help back and just be friendly, be kind to everybody, and so everybody goes home happy with some food. And um, gonna head back. Uh, pretty close to the car already so gonna head back and uh unload everything or load up everything so Oop. a sea lion just got a salmon and a seagull dove right down here and grab a big old chunk of meat what the hell that is wild that guy caught a salmon wow good How'd you do? I got a limit. I went out, there was nothing out there. I went past the red can, nothing. I went past the red can to the west, nothing. So what I like about kayak fishing, which I think is pretty cool, is that every time you go out, you meet somebody new, and it's a whole bunch of cool ass people and cool guys, and just fishermen who just wanna have fun, relax, uh go kayaking and hopefully uh make some friend and have some people to go out with so it's safer and i met this guy named mike and uh yeah uh very cool guy we're gonna fish again and hopefully uh catch some more crab this time or well, the next time but uh yeah um uh, be safe be friendly and help each other out because uh i'm pretty sure people help you out too so uh yeah, just have fun. So, after a good day of crabbing, uh, next morning, cooking some crab, and crab looks delicious. Uh, it's a curry crab soup with some Asian herb, Asian mix with American style, so pretty good. Pretty good. So, if you have a real issue like I did with my Dawa BG 2500 reel, which starts spinning back or for whatever reason it is manufacture defect and just print this out and send it to dawa all right time to go ship it to the dawa